Greetings and welcome gamers to my next Let's Play. This time around we're doing something a little bit different. As I was going through the collection of Disney-based video games, I stumbled across this gem buried in between them all, The Little Mermaid for the Ness. <laughs> when I saw that Ariel actually had her own game, I was a little, like, skeptical that it could actually be any fun. Be just because, you know, generally speaking, movie-based games don't go that well. This is a rare exception, as you can see with most old-school games. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started here, shall we? Ariel, Princess of the Sea, fell in love with Eric at first sight. She asked Ursula to make her human so she could meet him. He fell in love with her too and planned to marry her. Then one day, Sebastian, Flounder, and Scuttle came to see Ariel in a big hurry. They explained that Ursula had cast a spell over the fish of the sea, so they would have to do what she wanted. If she wasn't stopped, she would probably take over the whole sea. Ariel decided to go to Ursula's castle to try and release the fish from Ursula's spell. She explained to Eric that she was a mermaid and a princess of the sea, and that she must try to save her friend, naturally. Eric tried to convince her not to go, but she turned back into a mermaid, dove into the sea, and began to swim toward Ursula's castle. And that is where our story begins, with Stage 1 of the Sea of Coral. Now, let us discuss the controls for this game. Naturally, the D-pad will move Ariel around depending on which direction you press. The A button allows her to summon up some bubbles, which will encase her enemies in bubbles, which she can then pick up and throw at other enemies. The B button, when pressed, will increase her speed, and that's basically it. That's really all you need to know. It's pretty simplistic as far as game mechanics go. Um, these little seashells that you find along the way are very important, so make sure that you pick one up whenever you come across one, because you'll be needing them for these treasure chests along the way, which contain power-ups. Now, if you push the if we push the start button, we will obviously get the pause menu, but we'll, we'll be able to see her stats. Now, the, the pink slash purplish bubbles there, that's for her power. Later on, we'll see some green ones that will be for her range down below. There are, you can get a maximum of three for each. However, should you ever actually lose a life, all that power and range that you've collected along, along the way is going to disappear, and you have to start over. So, if you can avoid it, I highly recommend being very cautious so you can keep your full power throughout the game. Now, um, these sand pits along the way, if Ariel flips through them with her tail fin there, there is the chance that she can come across one of two different hidden items. Um, a Dinglehopper, or a Snarf Black. Um, yep, they, there's a Snarf Black right there. Now, um, something of note, this is not actually my first time playing through this game. I actually did do a test before recording anything, just so I could be a little bit more familiar with the game and have a little bit smoother of an experience for you all, but, uh, the Snarf Blats for me were a little more challenging to come across than the Dingle Hoppers. There we go, got rid of that octopus there. Oh gosh. I don't want to get hit. There we go. And there's our first range gem. See? We've got power and range now. And our bubble will eventually change in appearance and 
be able to get shot longer distances. Pretty awesome, actually. I always wondered, you know, how would Ariel actually defend herself in a video game, and it's actually a pretty unique idea. Let's see what gem we got here. We got another range one. Oh. Get that fish over there. And we come up on our first boss here. This little shark guy that... Well, not little by any means. That Ariel and Flounder stumbled across. We just throw our little fish bubbles at him. I believe it takes three to four hits, if memory serves me right. Oh, did not want to just throw that straight up. So that does come in handy later on, that you can actually do that. Okay, so four hits. One more and this shark will be taken care of. His Ariel is a beast of the sea. Oops. There we go! And we have completed the first level of The Little Mermaid. We actually missed the Dingle Hopper. I'm not sure if it's random if it decides, you know, which one of the items appears in the level. Ursula is going toward the second ship. Watch out, Ariel. The sunken ship, oh boy. So, if you thought that first level was fairly easy, you were right. It was kind of the introduction level. From here on, things get a little trickier. You have to be a little bit more cautious. I mean, not by much. This is kind of a game that was obviously targeted towards children. But, it does have its challenges. Okay, take you out. Oh, there's a one up over there. Now we have three lives as opposed to the two before. Okay, let's see if we can take out this octopus here. Whoa! <laughs> okay, but can we. There we go. Now, if you had your bubbles at your first power-up state, that would not have worked. You would have needed a, a shell of some kind in order to, um, actually take that squid out. <laughs> this little jumping bit always makes me giggle. <laughs> makes me chuckle. She's definitely more, uh used to see than land, that's for sure. Okay, now this one is kind of a trick to get to. You may not want to do it. Oh. Okay, time is just right. Nope, never mind. I don't even want to do it. <laughs> I don't want Ariel to lose her, her, her uh, power, so we're just going to avoid that because we can always get another gem later on. Because right now, she's at full power. She lost her range, though. I thought her range would stay. Weird. Okay, so... Should dig around here. There's some range back. Dig around here. See if anything pops up. Oh. Oh no, Mr. Home and Fish, you get away. out. Nothing in there? What about in this one? We kind of missed this little bit. Oh, there's just an extra shell. I wonder if that means there's a treasure chest around here. I can't remember. I don't think there is, because I'm pretty sure after this area is the boss. The levels are all pretty short, to be honest. 
Yep, boss time. And we got Flotsam and Jetsam. And this is all we have to do. Well, obviously we have to throw the crab things at- Oh gosh, Ariel, don't get it again, please. Oh no! Well, that sucks because now our power is back to normal. We have to gain it all back in later levels. Which can be a little bit trickier. And now you have to actually use your bubbles twice to encase an enemy in them. Whoops, not what I wanted to do at all. This one is actually a little bit trickier. Especially now that our power's weakened. Oh, why can't I... Hmm. There we go. Whoops. Ariel, what were you aiming at? Oh! Gosh dang, this one's getting dangerous. Huh? Okay. Come on, little crab thing. Yeah, that is victory for us. Level 2 complete. We didn't find any of the secret items, though. No dingle hoppers, no snarf flat. But that works for me, as long as we get through the level. That fiendish Ursula froze the sea. Be careful, the ice is very slippery. No joke, the ice does get really slippery in this level. Of course there would be an ice level, though. I mean, there's always an ice level in any video game. Okay, let's hop up here and grab this shell, because I think it's going to come in handy. There should be a chest around here. Yep. Oh no! That's not going to help us at all! I don't think we can get that out of there. Shoot. Oh well, moving on. Oh, there's another one over here. I wonder if that means there's a shell around here somewhere. Okay, well there is one. Oh my gosh, so many chests. How do we decide which one to go for? I kind of feel like the one up here it's something we should check out. Oh yeah! That was a good idea. Of course, now, we don't have that shell back for any of these other chests. However, we might be able- oh nope, our tail fin is not strong enough to be able to knock that rock away. Check this next area over here. Oh, here we go. Here's another chest. Hopefully it's power and not range. Aw, oh, dang it. But I prefer power. Who cares about the range? Okay, let's get this guy out of the way here. And then let's just drop this in here. Nothing. That was an empty chest. Back up. There we go. Way off! Dang it! Oh, ouch! Okay. Grab the shell. Oh, no, no, you, you get away. You get away, you fish. Here we go, play that game. I will get single hoppers and stab you. Okay, drop it in there. Another range. Uh, doesn't it know I want power? Game. I mean, a range can definitely be handy, but... 
really it's the power that makes Ariel awesome. And we have come up to our third boss fight, this time against the Walrus. Of all things, huh? Yeah, I don't remember there being a walrus for Ariel to ever do. Well, some of these uh, bosses are obviously kind of just thrown in to add extra levels to the game. Which makes sense. Hmm? Otherwise, it would be even shorter than it actually is. Hmm? I think two more hits and this guy's out. Oops, missed. We'll wait for him to come over here. And then, huh? Oh. Huh? What, Ariel, what did you do that for? Let's, okay, let's not get hit by those ice cubes. Huh? Ow! Well, that happened. Huh? Oh, yeah! Took him out! Third level complete! No Dingle Hoppers or Snarf Black. But then again, I'm not really, really like, searching all over the sea for them. There is something strange going on around the sea volcanoes. Be careful. Something bad may be waiting for you. You have no idea. This level is actually kind of tricky. You gotta be a little bit more careful here. He says as he immediately starts digging through the sand. Okay, so those openings right there will release large balls of fire. Three total each time they go off. And then, you know, there's little monsters waiting in the sea there. In the sand there, rather. So it makes, um, searching for things a little trickier because you have to risk getting hit by one of these guys. But I do believe there's almost always something under there, like a heart or... Ooh, okay, you're... Nope, 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 you get away. I just want to get... I just want to get by you. I will increase my speed if I have to. There we go. Oh, wow, the screen is a little bit deadlier. Move down, shall we? Whoa! Okay, I think there's actually a shell hidden. Everything's trying to kill me. There we go. That's what we wanted. Now we have to decide which chest to go after. I think the left. Yeah, the left is right. Whoa. Okay, that one's empty. Okay. Stay down. No, please don't hit Ariel. Please don't hit Ariel. Please don't hit Ariel. <laughs> please. Okay, there's a one up that we can go after, but our tail fin power is not at its full potential. So we can't reach it. Oh gosh, this part. There can be a little bit of lag on this section, not gonna lie. But it's worth it to go over here and grab that gem. Oh! And I think we're coming up on the boss already. Do we go up or down? I think we go down. Ugh. Really trying not to get hit. Because I'm so very close to full power again. Okay, now something we can do is knock that barrel over, which will open up that chest and we'll discover that there's nothing in there. That's awesome! He said sarcastically. Oh my gosh! Yep, the next screen over will be the boss fight. And it's against a seahorse of some kind. Again, nothing from the actual movie, but, you know. If 
That's actually a pretty cool little fight. Dangerous, but cool. One more hit. Can we do it? Oh! Oh! That was four hits, wasn't it? I kind of lost track. Come on, release some more fish. Yeah! Took it out. Level clear! Barely! That was actually pretty dangerous. <laughs> And again, no jingle hoppers or snarf flats. <laughs> Ursula's castle is like a magical maze. Sometimes you will walk through a door into a room, and when you walk back out the same door, you will be in a different place. So in a way, this kind of pays homage to Super Mario Brothers, with the whole Bowser's castle leading to different sections should you choose the wrong path. Okay, so is that sand? I can't tell. I think it is. Sweet, full power. Let's dig through and see if we can find any extra hearts. They will come in handy. Okay, nothing was in that chest. And we come across our first door. Um, trying to remember if there's anything in this room that is worth going for. I don't think so. I don't remember if you actually hold on to the... Ooh, that's worth going for. That is worth going for for sure. Okay, now we're in this tractable area. Whoa. I'm not going to get hit by one of those. <laughs> See, now we can move those big rocks. Do we have full range? We don't have any range. Let that little horsey go away. Okay, so left or right? I'm kind of feeling right. Whoops. You actually need to drop it in there, Ariel. Oh, come on. Pick it up. Huh. There we go. Yeah! That was a good feel. Oh! Oh, I knew I was gonna get a hit there. No biggie. Okay. Can we... I don't think those rocks will actually do us any good. Okay, hold on now. There is a shell, and for this one, I'm kind of feeling left. Yeah! The right one would probably be empty. Cautiously making our way through here, a little bit of lag, because there's so many things being on screen. Happens for the NES games sometimes. Come on. Oh, we got another doorway. Can go in there? We can. I'm gonna go straight up. Oh, we're getting close. You see those little things and you know you're getting close. <laughs> Ursula! Is this the final boss fight? Will this be all Ariel has to deal with? Hmm? You just gotta encase some fish in bubbles, and then throw them straight up. Hmm? So that they hit her face. She throws a lot of projectiles. Hmm? Compared to any other enemy that we've ever dealt with, but it makes sense considering she's the big bad boss lady herself. Hmm? And we took her out! But does that mean game over? Or is there more to come? 
Let's find out. Ariel, it looks like Ursula is back, but this time she is gigantic. What should we do, Ariel? Ursula has become much more powerful. Oh, snap! She went Giga Ursula! And the sea currents actually become kind of a challenge to swim through. You have to be really careful with this one. Okay. I don't remember how many hits it takes, but this is actually the final boss. Oh yeah, not a very long game, but definitely a fun little short one to play once in a while. Especially since there are so few that actually feature Ariel as the main character. She does have her appearances in the Kingdom Hearts series, which are awesome. But, you know, it, it, it's nice that she has her own little game. And we took her out! Ursula is gone! No more sea wits to worry about? Ariel defeated Ursula and released her friends from the spell. But there is no way for her to become human again. Ariel spent every day looking up at the land with tears in her eyes. King Triton saw that his daughter was in love, and cast a spell on her to make her human, once again. Ariel returned to the land and went to see Eric. He was very happy when he saw her, and he swept her into his arms. They got married, and lived happily ever after. The end. And ladies and gentlemen, that has been my little let's play of The Little Mermaid. It didn't even take 30 minutes to get all the way through, <laughs> but yeah, it's actually a pretty fun little game. You'd be surprised if you actually picked it up and played it yourself. You'd find yourself enjoying it. It's actually one of the only games I can think of that doesn't go straight to credits when you actually beat the game. I mean, did they not expect children to be able to beat it or what? Like, what the heck? <laughs> it is kind of funny. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. If you did, go ahead and throw me a thumbs up, and until the next video, later gamers!